Local Lifestyles continues. Anthony Moffa is the commercial manager of True Green and the founder of Adopt and Ash program. He's here with the arborist for the city of Evansville, Sean Dickerson. Welcome, gentlemen. It's good to see you both. Thank you. Thank well, you. Well, today we're talking about what's really become a problem in this area, which is the emerald ash borer. So, Sean, I'll begin with you. Tell us what this pest is and what we're seeing in our trees. Well, this is a non-native invasive bug pest uh, that was introduced in America about 15, 20 years ago. Uh, it's, it only attacks ash trees, fortunately, uh, but it is in Evansville now. And the professionals are saying that once you find emerald ash borer in an area, all the ash trees in that area will be dead or dying within six to ten years. Um, so we're trying to get the word out to the public to let them know that if they're not already treating their trees to keep them from being infested and dying from the emerald ash borer, that they really need to focus on doing starting that now. So there's something they can do. Absolutely. Rather than, well, throw your hands up in the air, this is it. Well, what will you see if you have ash trees on your property? What would you notice? Well, you would notice the tree dying back typically from the top down. The tree may sprout. Um, you typically won't see this until it's too late. You won't see the tree dying until it may potentially be too late. Oh, so too far it's gone. important that people treat their trees regardless of what they look like because if they live in Evansville and potentially even in Henderson, uh, if their trees look healthy, there's a good chance that the trees may actually already be infested. If people don't know, which I probably wouldn't know, if I had property, that I had an ash tree on my property, what's the best way to find out to identify the trees you have? Uh, well, you can call uh, our office if you live in Evansville. Um, hopefully, uh, there's an extension office uh, in Henderson that they might be able to call. I don't know. Yeah, probably I'm sure there is. Uh, sure. University of Kentucky, yeah. mm -hmm. likely. Well, Anthony, let's talk about Adopt the Ash program. What what inspired you to do this, and how do we well, how do we help? You know, and one of the things that I I really noticed when I was starting to speak to municipalities and other organizations about this this issue was there was a real lack of awareness, and um, there there was a lack of uh, ability to be able to effectively treat the trees, to identify them, and really support uh, municipalities in this effort. So we put together the Adopt Ash program in partnership with the City of Evansville, the Evansville Parks Foundation, uh, to give local, uh, local residents, local business owners the opportunity to sponsor the treatment of specific trees on uh, public property. So that could be parks, cemeteries, uh, you know, uh, uh, trees along the streets and the boulevards. And uh, we've had great success with it in raising awareness and saving some of these trees. We certainly do need the public's continued assistance with that, whether that's individual donors or uh, organizations to be involved, and everything's tax deductible. goes through the Evansville Parks good Foundation, yes. so uh, mm -hmm. it's a good opportunity. It could be a great gift to give to someone, because yeah. ultimately trees are as much a part of our community as we are. Indeed, yeah. so the best way to donate? Best way to donate is evansville.adoptnash.org. Uh, you can go to the website, we have an interactive map where you can see specific trees that you can sponsor. We give you an acknowledgement on the website for your sponsorship of those trees. Uh, they range from $30 up, so there's, so there's really, you, really right. uh, you know, as, as far as the price point for, uh, for this issue, it, it can be fairly cost effective and can be a, a real nice gift, a great way of being involved in the community important project all the way around. Sean, thank you so much. Anthony, thank you so much for thank being you. here. If you would like to adopt an ash tree or find out more about what the trees are on your property, give these gentlemen a call and you can see this again on tristatehomepage.com. We'll be right back.